I'm making this video to talk about one of the worst people in the airsoft community and on YouTube as a whole. Kicking Mustang is a YouTuber who I'm genuinely surprised has not been called out yet. He is a YouTuber who actively goes out to hurt people for content and then uses his massive audience to attack and dox people who criticize him. He's absolutely unhinged, but he's also a massive YouTuber. So this video is going to get a lot of hate, but all I ask is that you give what I'm about to present to you a chance. Let's roll it back a little bit. Who is Kicking Mustang? Kicking Mustang is an airsoft YouTuber who makes gameplay videos where he encounters cheaters and angry people in airsoft. His videos mainly consist of him hiding with a ghillie suit and shooting players from far away. He is the most disliked airsoft YouTuber in the actual airsoft community and is banned at over 40 fields. Okay, getting banned at one field, it's a fluke. Two is a trend. 40 is empirical evidence that you're a piece of garbage. These bans aren't for nothing, by the way. You'll see there's a lot of good reasons why he got banned. His video category is cheaters and angry airsoft players. And this is a very popular category for airsoft YouTubers because these types of videos reach outside of the community and they pull a lot of views. I'm not here to hate on this category as a whole because like it or not, it has its place on YouTube. But what Mustang is doing does not. The problem with making this type of content is that there just isn't enough genuine cheaters in airsoft to make consistent videos about. Despite cheating videos being the main thing people outside of the community see airsoft being full of cheaters is a giant myth i think i've only met like three or four genuine airsoft cheaters in my entire career and i don't think i've ever seen a serious argument go down that's because everyone who goes and plays airsoft is doing it as a hobby to relax on the weekend cheating in a recreational hobby is really not that fun if you've ever cheated in csgo you know it gets boring quick. The truth is that when you think you hit somebody, 90% of the time you didn't. That's because BBs have terrible ballistics. They're small plastic balls that weigh almost nothing and have to compete against gravity and wind. You have to try very, very hard to get them to land on target. For 9.99% of that 10% remaining, you did hit the person, but you hit him in a spot that they wouldn't feel it, or the impact was so light that they thought it was a ricochet. These are genuine mistakes, and these people aren't actually cheating. They just don't know that they got hit. And of course, that remaining 0.01% is people who are genuine cheating. Now that you know this breakdown, you know it'd be impossible to run a channel like Kicking Mustangs, where you're consistently running into cheaters without some serious bullshit going on. And there's a lot of bullshit going on with Kicking Mustang. In his videos, he's faking hit markers, he's calling everybody cheaters, he's overshooting people, and purposely hurting them so that he could get a reaction out of them so he could turn it into content. It's pretty pathetic that a grown man is acting like this. The thing is though, if you've never played Airsoft and you're just watching this video at face value, you might not be able to tell why what he's doing is wrong. Before we start talking about this, I know a lot of people don't play Airsoft, so let me give some insight about the hobby. The major unspoken rule of Airsoft is that the goal is to have fun, not hurt each other. Everyone is there to have fun and relax on the weekend. Of course, getting shot is part of the hobby and rare instances of injury are a possibility but the goal is to have fun not hurt each other this rule exists partially out of respect but mainly because the consequences of breaking this rule are severe if you're playing normally and you start overshooting people and purposely trying to hurt people they're gonna catch on and when they do they're gonna start doing it back to you mustang usually doesn't suffer the immediate consequences of what he's doing because he's off in a bush far away from the people and in the rare instances when he does it's perfect YouTube content for him. Now let's actually talk about the stuff he does. This dude intentionally aims for vulnerable parts of the body to get reactions out of people. Here's some examples. This dude is standing perfectly still, his whole body is open to shoot, but Mustang decides to aim at the back of his head. Remember what I said about BBs having terrible ballistics? Yeah, you have to try very, very hard to hit someone in a small area like the back of the head. Mustang had his whole body open for an easier shot, but he specifically chose the back of the head. The reason it's so bad that he shot this guy in the back of the head is because getting shot right there, especially when you're not running, is extremely painful. Some people say that yes, he should have been wearing more protection, and that's fair, but that guy made the choice not to wear protection knowing that normally in airsoft headshots are pretty rare and that normal people aren't actually going for headshots i'm sure if he knew mustang was out there going for headshots he would wear more protection but then again people shouldn't have to prepare for you being a douche this one's more egregious he shoots this guy once in the mag which is made of hard plastic so the guy definitely didn't feel it he then aims down and shoots him in the nuts imagine how badly he hurt this guy just for a funny clip that's pretty messed up 
Again, shoots this guy right in the face, even though his whole body is exposed. Mustang justifies this shot because he thinks this dude is cheating. He shot one previous shot at the dude that actually missed, if you watch the BB. So he said, yup, I'm gonna hurt this guy. I like how he edited a hit marker in like he actually shot the guy too. Mustang puts a lot of hit markers for shots that he definitely missed. And if you're watching casually, you would think that he actually hit those shots. Hit markers in Airsoft mean absolutely nothing. They are simply a visual aid for content creators to make the video more interesting when they shoot people. And that's all that they're meant for. But kicking Mustang uses them as hard proof that people are cheating. If you want to know if the BB actually hit the guy, you have to watch it flying through the air. And when you start doing this for Mustang's videos, it's pretty cool comical the shots that he says actually hit the guy in this video he clearly misses his shots but he still puts markers and says that he hit this guy and he actually uses this as justification to start lighting up the dude when he's clearly out he even starts shooting random people when they're out it's pretty unhinged I i'm surprised there isn't more people calling him out about this clip it's really easy to do stuff like this when you're sitting in a bush far away from the consequences his most viewed cheater video is really guilty of those fake hit markers he shoots like eight shots at the guy and yes three of them hit but they're like in spots where the guy wouldn't really feel it but three of their shots just like straight up miss and he does put hit markers like for example this one goes off way off to the right this one hits a totally different dude in the holster and this one again goes way off to the right and he still marked them as hits Something I found really funny about this video is that later in it, he starts yelling at this dude, calling him a cheater, which he specifically said you're not supposed to do. To be clear, cheat calling another player is strictly forbidden at most airsoft fields. It's widely regarded as being worse than cheating, as it can quickly cause heated arguments and explosive confrontations between players. Got you on camera earlier. Yeah, you're right. eight times right. cheating. You're right. going to be very right. fucking famous, mate. Right. You're going to be very yeah, fucking famous. Yeah. Unrelated note, in that video, he has an established titles ad still on the video, and he doesn't even say anything to his fans about what those guys did and how they got exposed, but hey, whatever. Mustang also just straight up overshoots people. For people that don't play Airsoft, Usually one to four shots is plenty to get someone out. How many times does Mustang shoot someone? He empties the mag. That was enough shots to ruin someone's day. If you've never experienced this, it sucks. Normally, this happens when you run out into a very exposed area that a lot of enemy players are watching. It's never from one guy walking up behind you, mag dumping you. By the way, Mustang's reaction is so disconnected from reality. <laughs> come on dude come on dude it's a burst come on he's laughing maniacally while this freaking dude's like yo dude you overshot me it gives me real psychopathic vibes here he mag dumps another gilly guy and then throws a grenade right at him there's only one way to make sure again runs up to him laughing like a lunatic while the dude is laid out on the floor in pain <laughs> You're right, mate. No, got off in the ear. This is not how normal people play airsoft. What I find the funniest about this whole overshooting thing is that he's laughing when he's overshooting people, but the moment he gets overshot, he starts crying. Do that. Why did you just do that? Why not? Why? Why did you see that? Do you have your hand up? No. Here he was in a bush and he got shot out and he was like, I'm out, I'm out. But he wasn't saying it loud enough so the guys didn't hear. And he was also not moving. So they just kept shooting him. And he just gets up and starts bawling his eyes out yelling at them and by the way this is a pretty mild instance of getting overshot imagine if someone shot him the way he shot others he would be losing his mind i mean you could at least see why he got banned from so many fields if you were a field owner would you want someone coming to your field and ruining the days of your patrons the people in mustang's videos are out there to enjoy a relaxed weekend and have a little bit of fun and mustang is coming out there and ruining their day so that he could get content the problem here is not that he's shooting people in airsoft that's part of the sport the problem here is that he's consistently going out of his way to shoot people in ways that would hurt them. Airsoft is something people do for fun. And a big part of the sportsmanship is that you're not 
not trying to hurt each other. You're shooting each other to get each other out, not to cause pain. If you're still having a problem understanding why what Mustang is doing is wrong, let me put it in boxing terms. When you're sparring recreationally, a big unspoken rule is that you don't punch below the belt. You don't do it because it's cheap, it could cause serious harm, and most of all, because you wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of it. The way Mustang is playing is what happens when you're disconnected from the consequences and don't have the moral character to do the right thing. If you want to get into Airsoft, don't play like this guy. Here's the thing. The criticisms I just made of this guy aren't new. They're pretty common opinions about this guy. And if the only problem with him was that he was an asshole while playing Airsoft, I probably wouldn't have made this video. But what takes Mustang from an asshole YouTuber to a lunatic is the way that he responds to criticism. How does he respond, you may ask? Does he do the average YouTuber thing and ignore all criticism? Or does he do the good human thing, acknowledges flaws, and tries to be better? Neither. He says that every single attractor has kicking Mustang derangement syndrome, and he viciously attacks every individual critic who calls him out, going so far as to dox them and leverage his audience against them. I'm not joking about the whole kicking Mustang derangement thing. Like, he literally says that it's what people have when they talk about him. It's pretty wild. Let's talk about some of the people kicking Mustang has attacked. There's a kid who made a video about Mustang saying similar things to what I just said. I'm not going to show the kid's face, even though you could find it on Mustang's channel, just out of respect for the kid and and the fact that he's trying to get away from this. The kid made a super fair video explaining why Kicking Mustang got banned from so many fields and how did Mustang, a grown ass man, respond to a teenager talking about him. He put him on blast on all of his social medias, calling him an airsoft cancel culture troll. He put his face in a video and then doubled down on everything the kid called him out for. Keep in mind, Mustang has 2 million subscribers and this kid had 500. This sent a bunch of hate to the kid and he got so much hate that he took down the video the worst part of this is that the kid found out early on that mustang was gonna make a video about him and he actually reached out to mustang and was like yo you know i'm very stressed uh i'm sorry can you please not post this video mustang saw this and still decided to attack this kid saying that he hoped the kid learned his lesson and not to make a video lying even though Mustang did not disprove a single thing that the kid said about him. Grown ass man beefing with kids. This is usually how he responds to everybody criticizing him. Here he is attacking a dude named Sean who made a 10 minute video also calling him out for being an asshole. Again, Mustang doesn't dispute a single thing that this dude said and just goes on to call him a social justice warrior. You know everything these people are saying about Mustang is absolutely correct when instead of disproving what they have to say, he just attacks and bullies them. This isn't even the worst of it. You should see how he responds to his greatest enemy named Jack. Mustang wrote a, a thousand word essay article on some random website about Jack, casually dropping Jack's place of work, his full name, all while comparing him to some famous stalker that just went to prison. He ended that article with, P.S. If anybody knows Airsoft Club employee Jack contact details would you please forward them to me and it's not even the first time he's tried to get this guy's private information he actually put a 250 euro bounty for jack's address and personal details on instagram some time ago mustang is absolutely unhinged yeah putting someone's full name and place of work and trying to get more information about them through unscrupulous means is doxing for the people who think that mustang's videos are okay can we at least agree that the way that he responds to criticisms is not? We can at least agree that using your massive audience to attack minors and dox people is wrong. But yeah, that's all I had to say. Thank you for giving me your time and giving this video a chance if you made it to this part. Please comment, like, subscribe. That all helps me out. This is mainly an airsoft channel. I don't typically make these kinds of videos, but I think this was needed. So yeah, have a good one.